Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to the channel. In today's episode of Living in Columbus, Ohio, we're gonna talk about the pros and cons of living in Granville, Ohio. Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Brad Winter, and if this is your first time to the channel, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. If you guys could go ahead and tap on that subscribe button below, click on the bell, and give us a like, we would much appreciate it because that's gonna allow everybody who's looking to make a move to the Columbus Metro or surrounding areas get notified every time we drop one of these videos. And as you know, in these videos, we talk about everything that you need to know about working, eating, living, playing, breathing, and everything else in between of living in the Columbus Metro or surrounding areas. Now, I am a licensed real estate agent in the state of Ohio, and as much as I love making these videos for you guys, we would love nothing more to help you with your real estate needs. So if you're thinking about making a move, if you're already relocating, if you already live here, make sure you reach out. Give me a call, shoot me a text, find me on Instagram, whatever you need to do. Heck, you could even shoot me an email. Make sure you do it because I'm gonna have your back when it comes to all things real estate related here in the Columbus metro or surrounding areas. So here's the deal. You're thinking about moving to the Columbus metro or surrounding areas, better known as Central Ohio, and maybe you're somebody that doesn't want to actually live in the city. You really don't even wanna live in the suburbs. You wanna distance yourself away from maybe the larger population of Central Ohio. Well, Granville might be the place for you. And so, like I said before, today we're gonna to talk about the pros and cons of living in Granville. Now, just to give you a little content, if you look on the map, you are gonna see that Granville is located east of downtown Columbus. It takes roughly 35 to 40 minutes to get there. So if you are um, thinking about making that move out there or exploring that move, uh, now you have a better idea of kind of the geography that uh, is around as far as Columbus being close and that might help you make the decision on whether to live there or not. Now, let's start off with pro number one and it's the biggest question I get when working with people that are relocating or moving or even living here is what are the schools like? So my pro number one about living in Granville is it has great education resources. What I mean by that, that Granville School District was recently rated in the top 25 out of 607 school districts in the state of Ohio. So that is really, really awesome. And it is consistently ranked the number one school district in Licking County, which is based out of uh, 10 other school districts. So if you have young kids or you know, kids in high school and you are making a move and education is important to, the, to you, Granville is going to be a really solid place for that. Now, one thing that is really cool about Granville is that it is also really known as a college town. And no, it's not gonna be like Ohio State or one of these big universities. Um, it is a very small school, um, and that college is Denison University. Now, Denison University has right around 2,200 to 2,500 students, and it is consistently one of the top liberal arts schools in the country. Now, if you are having you know one of your children look at going to Denison or maybe you live there and you want to know how much the tuition's going to be to send them locally it's going to cost you a pretty penny it's estimated that Denison costs around $60,000 a year to attend so just keep that in the back of your mind but overall, Granville is almost like this education hub when it comes to you've got the university and then you have your elementary, middle, and high schools. So Granville, pro number one is definitely its education resources. So with the good, there always is a little bit of bad. And this particular con, it may be a good thing, it may be a bad thing. I was a little indifferent, but um, from an economic standpoint, we'll just say it's con number one, is studies have shown that there's definitely a slow population growth in Granville. And I was reading a few articles and blog posts about this, and there's opinions all over the place. 
but if you look at just the residents, you know, you're looking at just under 6,000 residents make up Granville and that population growth year over year is very, very minute. So it's not really an area today that is seeing a mass amount of people moving there. And you also aren't getting a lot of people leaving as well. So I think that tells you a little bit about the community that people love to be there. They're lifelong residents that traditionally don't leave. And so that might influence why not a lot of people are moving there because there's not a lot of opportunity when it comes to housing. Now, some things that I did read that I found was interesting is there is uh, this consensus out there that there's a lack of a diversity in um, occupation options. So on a local level, there is not a lot of places for people to work, whether that is local businesses, factories, um, any th sort of manufacturing, anything like that. Uh, really, really on a micro scale, there's not a ton there. Now, one of the things to think about is it is pretty close to Columbus. So having a 30 to 40 minute drive is really not a big deal for a lot of people. And so if you do live there, you have those work opportunities away from Granville, but they're not there locally as much as maybe other communities that are seeing a ton of growth. Uh, for instance, a good comparable would be like a Plain City, which is on the other side of Columbus. It has seen a massive growth, not only in population, housing, but also employment options as well. So I found that really interesting. Um, you know, if you talk to a lot of people in Granville, they actually like this because it keeps their community really small, really clean, really nice and tight. And people like that. Now, people that want to see economic boom and you know population growth, then this might be a con to you, but definitely something to consider when moving to Granville. All right, so pro number two is money, money, money. So the median household income in Granville is right around $132,000 according to Data USA, and that was a recent study done in 2021. Um, so that could have changed, fluctuated up or down a little bit. Now, why is this a good thing? You know, there's a couple ways to look at this is it creates definitely a stable community. So you have households that, you know, whether it's mom and dad are both working or maybe uh, one of the, you know, one of the parents are the only working. Regardless, they're bringing in a really substantial amount of income. Now, if you look at this from, you know, an economic level, it definitely helps the city or the town prosper, right? Because they can, they're paying tax, they are investing in the community and people more than likely are uh, commuting in and out of this community. Like we said, the con number one, the lack of jobs. So with the lack of jobs, they have to go get jobs elsewhere. Um, and a lot of those jobs are probably in the Columbus area, if I had to guess. So pro number two, median household is pretty substantial. I think there are a lot of things that go along with this. I'm only guessing here, but you're probably in a well-educated community, a diverse community, um, as far as not only occupation, uh, but also in income levels as well, um, especially if the median household income is 132,000, um, you know, that's pretty telling. So if you're somebody who, maybe you're in that household range as far as income, or you're somebody that's above that, you wanna be in a stable community, um, a place that really takes pride in what they're doing, then Granville might be the place for you. All right, so I'll the next pro or the next con, however you look at it, I was torn between it because, you know, as I mentioned, I'm a realtor, I'm in real estate, and so I, I was indifferent on whether this was a pro for some people or if this was a con, so I went ahead and we'll just make it uh, even, right? It'll be a pro and a con. So the cost of housing in Granville. Now, if you look at this, the median home sale in Granville last year was $522,500. So that is substantial to most communities around Central Ohio. And there's two ways to look at this. If you are somebody who currently lives there and you are a potential seller now or down the road, that is a really good thing for you because, hey, you made a great investment. Your house is going to sell for, you know, depending on the type of house and everything. But, you know, the odds are that your house is going to sell for a lot of money. So from an investment standpoint, hey, 
you did it right, right? You you did it where most people you know can't do it or want to do it. And if you are a buyer and you're looking to get into Granville, I think this is where the con is. We already talked about that there are um, limited population growth in Granville. So most people aren't leaving and a lot of people aren't coming. And if I had to guess, the housing has a lot to do with it. And in reading about Granville, they're very strict on their building policies and what their regulations are and how many houses they're allowed being built. You know, sounds like is Granville does not want to have a mass population growth as of today. So if you are a buyer, it's going to be tough and very competitive to get into Granville and you are going to have to pay a hefty dollar amount in order to get in into this community. So that's why I was kind of leaving it as a pro and con depending on who you are. Now, if we talk about the future, and as you guys know, Intel is moving, or not, I shouldn't even say moving, they've already broke ground in New Albany. This is not far from Granville. Um, so Granville will feel the effects of Intel setting up shop here. And what will be interesting down the road is, does this community kind of loosen up on building standards, requirements, zoning, all those type of things in order to take advantage of the population growth that is gonna happen in the surrounding areas? That will be really interesting to see, so we'll definitely keep an eye on that. But as far as housing is concerned, we're gonna go with pro number three and con number three. It's a wash. So I like to end my episodes on a positive note. So, you know, no more cons because there's not really a lot of cons of living in Granville. So we're gonna go pro number four on my pros and cons list of living in Granville, Ohio. And it's flat out the location. And the reason why I say this is if you've, you know, watched this entire episode, we've talked about the lack of occupational opportunities in Granville and the, the lack of population growth and all these things. Well, if you're somebody that wants to live there, you are gonna have an easy commute to a lot of places. So if you are somebody that's gonna be working in downtown Columbus, you're looking at a 30 to 40 minute commute, right? That's not really that bad, that's very doable. And if you're gonna be working in one of the suburbs, it could be even less than that, or it could be a little bit more if you're on the other side of town. But regardless, it's so close where it might make sense to live in Granville and commute in for your job. Or if you are somebody that lives out there, or maybe your company that you're relocating for is in Newark, Ohio, you know, that's just down the road about 10 minutes. And so you have a great location, you're only 20 minutes from Galena, you're 10, 15 minutes from Johnstown, which is already feeling the effects of Intel, and you're really just in this great spot. So I think as we kind of close this out, the location, of Granville is definitely a major plus and something that you should consider, especially if you do not want to live in the Columbus Metro or the really close suburbs of Columbus. This is probably gonna be a great option for you. So there you have it, pro number four, the location, really doesn't get any better than that. So there you have it. Those are the pros and cons of living in Granville, Ohio. If you're somebody who's making a move to the Columbus Metro or surrounding areas, if you're thinking about relocating, heck, if you already live here and you need help with your real estate needs, then pick up the phone, give me a call, shoot me a text, fire off an email. You can hit me up on Instagram, do whatever you need to do. Make sure you do it because I'm gonna have your back when it comes to all things real estate related in the Columbus metro or surrounding areas. And as always, I thank you for tuning in and we will see you guys on the next episode of Living in Columbus.